can see all the messages popping up on the WhatsApp and you guys have been very, very interactive. All of you are having fun, right? Tell me a yes at the chat. So excited to see all of you who's been here spending the whole day. I call this a date with you because you are here spending with yourself learning, which I resonate so much with. I mean, I said invest on yourself. So this is a very fun day and I'm very sure all of you will agree with me. It worth every time, every penny that you spend here, right? So today, it's an amazing because last year when we did the summit, we had five days, okay? And we had uh, just a panelist went online and spoke in the group. And this year, we wanted to help our homepreneurs to accelerate their business journey. When we thought about what are we going to do this year, that's where entrepreneurship journey came to our mind because I know all of you in and out, right? So in a way, right, I know how homepreneurs think. And the mindset of homepreneurs are, okay, la, like how Tile said, right? You know, you all are homepreneurs, you always think that accounts are can, la, I'll do later, la. When it comes to branding, uh, it's okay, la, never mind, la, like this. You know, we go into that mode. But here, we are going to break that and make sure you create the entrepreneur mindset where you are not going to say it's okay. You're going to say bring it on. That's the whole idea. We want to make a difference. At the same time, we want to break the bias. Okay. So I'm very sure you enjoyed each and every session today. The first speaker, our keynote speaker, is someone who's very close to my heart. You all know he's my digital marketing mentor. When I went to him to get myself certified, and I tell asked him, I want you to be my mentor. I didn't give him a chance. Thank God he agreed. And the journey has been so beautiful until today. And he is a person that I go to when, uh, when I want to know anything on regards of digital marketing. So you've got, you actually listen from the best the first time. And he spoke to you about how we can actually make money digitally. It's not difficult, isn't it? I'm sure he has inspired a lot of you to know that you are on the right track. Right? Give me a yes if you agree with what I said. Charles literally put in a brand new mindset into your mind. We started with that. Then we moved on into my NLP coach, life coach. Ms. Sheila has taught me how to do processes to elicit certain things and belief system that I had. Limiting belief is something that will not make us move forward. What is limiting belief? A belief system that's in your system that doesn't let you go front. Okay, then when she came and spoke about well-formed outcome, trust me, I have achieved a lot of things that I put into that well-formed outcome when we did our training with her. And I also did this with some of you during our goal setting and you saw, and today she just brought the brand new energy into you when you actually visualize that. So that's Sheila for you. And next, of course, Alina, the brand queen came and spoke to you about how to position your brand. How do you actually do your brand strategy and don't go into anywhere without a proper strategy. Being said that, you will also probably heard my voice behind your ears where telling Rose always say, don't rant on social media. It will affect your branding. Can, 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 right? How many of you heard my voice? Uh, can tell me a one there. Lah. Okay. All right. After Elena did that, we also had um, an inspiring story who literally the, the four beautiful ladies the session was moderated perfectly well and all of them shared with us education is super important but being said that it does not stop you from chasing your dream you had all the entrepreneur who has really studied hard came up did something else and today they're doing something else isn't that amazing that's what we do that's what we create that's where the dream is created your signature is being created and after that, right, huh, then we had, <coughs> sorry, Ms. Sheila as well as Alina came and actually coached three of you all to go through your design thinking. Design thinking is a very important process when it comes to business. In fact, every subject, if you really, after understanding design thinking and you go through everything that you learned today, you know this has been implemented into that. Okay, and imagine just in 45 minutes, they have given you this month. What will happen when you actually attend their session and being coached by these beautiful ladies? What will happen to you and your business? 
and not forgetting that I just had my Miss Kilesh who tried her level best to make it super lamentum and I think she's a perfect person to actually tell you where and how you should actually start your account. Cash flow is important and how do you actually justify even your profit? And I like the part where she said um, drawing. So you know why? You know why I say I like that part? Because I know all of you here or maybe not all, some of you here are finding it very difficult to even differentiate between personal and entity. You don't really manage your finance in the company properly. So if you don't have proper books, then anyone wants to go and apply any grant, any loan. Oh, you, I don't have documents for well, first. Second, I have money coming, right? I think I can use for myself. Then wait for next month, lah. Can, can. How many people can agree with when I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of you don't even have business accounts. So that's the reason why Tilish is here to educate you that it's so important for you all to have that. And telling all of you, again, SSM is super important for you to register if you want to start an online business on social media or anywhere else. Okay, if you want to run a business in Malaysia, you need to have minimum SSM. Okay, and you also would have noticed if all the speaker has one thing in common, all of them shared with you about customer journey, knowing your audience, even a part where they say you not necessarily you have to be in all your social media. You need to know where your audience are. That's the number one importance when you're running a business. Okay, and of course, the, 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 I, I, I heard some of the challenges when you all are telling that, but you know, we don't know how to do survey. Our network are not so big. Girls, you're not opening up. You have a huge 12,000 members somewhere that you're not tapping into. It. Don't you think so? Learn, whatever you learn today, put it on action. I want to see things are going on. Rekha, you have 12,000 members. And what do you mean by you don't have network? Because you are not asking. Simple as that. Okay, all right. So that's what I wanted to summarize roughly. So normally, can I come and talk a lot about social media, right? Some of you here have attended social media classes. So you all know what I talk about. You all attended all the class so that you can evaluate and how I struggle to keep you all uh, on float on each and every platform only I know. Okay, <laughs> so, but today we are going to do something different. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. I'm not well, okay, so you might hear me coughing. Okay, all right. Okay, so today we are going to learn market like a pro. What is market like a pro? I'm going to talk about something very different that you guys probably have not heard, some of you. I'm going to talk about the benefits of having a website. How do you make this website as a SEO compliance? In another word, I'm also going to touch a bit about uh, social media, um, social media as well, so you will know how can you be searchable on these platforms. Okay, so let's jump into today's topic. Like you know, how to be searchable on internet is the most important thing that you want to know. Okay, you want people to go everywhere and put in your industry or your product or your brand. You want people to be able to reach you immediately. Being said that, now I want all of you to go to another tab and open your Google. Type in your, your name. Let me know what you see on the first line. Pastor, let me know. Go, go to Google, type in, and let me know what you see. That's me. What do I see? Okay, I see all about me lah. Okay, so yeah. So my branding in Facebook, tak buruk, uh, in Google, tak buruk lah. nobody talks bad about me, so good thing. Okay, because one bad remark, you know what can do to you, right? And why am I showing you this? Why am I talking about this is HR personal friends who's an HR manager tells me now, when someone applies for a job, there are two places they go and check on you, a part of calling for referrals. One is Google, the other one is LinkedIn. To know how credential are you. This is real, okay? It's not, I'm not making it up, all right? So yes, so if you are finding things about you on the first page of Google, then yes, great, that's awesome. Good, 
the first page, second page also, you can be there. I think that's beautiful. If it's not, then you have to think about how are you going to make it there. Okay. Next is, of course, when I talk about what is going to learn today is we're going to learn about how, why we need to build a website. Why, what is basic SEO is all about? Why do you need to do a keyword research and writing content? Why did I bring this topic up? Even though I know some newcomers are here, this is a very important topic for you. If you want to do an online business, it's good to know. And whatever we are going to learn today about the website, it's going to be a very simple website. Okay, and I'm, we are not going to build a website, but I'm going to tell you why is it important. If you want to build a very, very complex website, five pages, seven pages website, as well as e-commerce, then you can go and talk to Kogi, okay? She will help you with that. So now this is going to be a very, very easy site where even probably you just want to have a landing page. Uh, how many of you here know what's landing page? Anyone knows? Or oh, what, Jibrish, are you talking those? Uh, Hemi said no. The rest of you Anyone know what's landing page? Anyone know the difference between e-commerce? Anybody knows the difference between... Uh... Okay, some of you don't know. Let me show you, okay? <coughs> okay, yes. Let's go to Mom's Village website. This is Mom's Village website, okay? This is a one, two, three, four, five, six pages website. This one is called website. When you go and click this, can you all see the Mom's Village website? Can? We are on the correct screen right now? Ah, okay, thanks, Kobe. So if you look at this, this is a website. We, this is considered one, two, three, four, five, six pages of website, which we call this as informational website. E-commerce website, meaning you can put in your product, they can order your product online, there is payment gateway, and then they can actually check out like Lazada, Shopee, that's an e-commerce platform where you have a store. But if you go to Watson, Body Shop, and all that, right, they are having a e-commerce website, I show you, okay? So this one is informational website. Next, when you go into this, this is considered a landing page where all the information about product can be here. So this one is actually not really, really a 100% landing page because uh, we talk about a lot of product here. When we talk about the word landing page is when you click on a link, it opens up about that particular product or courses or services and then they have an option of collecting your information. Okay. Faham? Say yes if you faham. Faham. Okay, thanks, Abby. And then if you look at this, whatsapp.com.my, this is an e commerce website where you can go, add card, and then you can order online. Okay? So this is very, very uh, complex. You need to get someone to do this for you. You can't build this yourself, okay? I mean, rather than you probably will tell me, oh, I want, you want me to sit there building the website or you want me to do my business? Ah, so we don't want to go there, okay? So what is going to happen is, uh, I'm going to tell you about the simplest way, which are two platforms that we use to build a website. And I'm also going to touch about basic SEO. What is SEO? SEO is search engine optimization. If you do your search engine optimization properly, then it's very easy to find your website on Google. Okay, and then I'm also going to teach you how to do a keyword research in order for you to write a content. Okay, uh, yeah, and Kogi, please alert me on my timing, okay? Thanks. And then in order to create a website, right, normally we will actually give it to a website company who, who has a, a team to do it. You need to have a web designer. You need to have a web programmer. These two people is the one that's going to work hand in hand to create a website for you. Designer is someone who does the design and the programmer is someone who does the coding and create a website for you. So both of them has two different jobs, but they actually come together and make something work for you. That's how website used to be created all the while. Then... What happened is a lot of things started changing and things started becoming very easy and WordPress.com was been 
introduced to people. WordPress.com is actually a web software. It's also known as content management system where you can actually create your own website. To make it very simple, create one page of website first. Why we need to have website? Why is having a website is important? So normally for entrepreneurs or home entrepreneurs like you all, you all have heard me saying this before, I would say wait for about one, two months, one, two years, make sure you know what business are you doing before you put a website out. That's for your own business. But as you heard from Charles today, when you are having business online, you can actually have active, passive, as well as portfolio income. And if your target is to build a website and sell it later, then you can always start anytime. Okay, but you have to learn first in order for you to prepare a proper website. So WordPress is actually a beautiful website that you can create. You can even create an e-commerce site there, but you just need to know how to do it step by step. So let's start with the first step, a normal one page website, which we will be covering when we are doing our home for no bootcamp. Next is, this is free. You don't need to pay anything unless you want to get some Changi theme, then you need to pay some amount. And you need to buy domain name and hosting. What is domain name and hosting now? Uh, very, very, very simple. I'll explain to you in a while. Next website that I would uh, suggest you all to consider is Wix.com. Wix is a market leading website builder and you are someone who always lay part in YouTube, right? You will probably see this advertisement so many times. How many of you have seen this word Wix appearing on your YouTube? Give me a one. <coughs> mm, you have seen this. So super easy to use Wix. Correct, Dina. Use Wix is like minimum super easy to use. Can? So Wix is actually a very, very uh, leading website builder, which has very modern design because you can actually use one is their classic template where you can customize everything another one is using their ai they call that adi so you tell adi what kind of website you want and then they pick up everything and show it to you so you go and edit very fast if you ask me can wix website can actually build into this a bit complex also bullet quite simple okay so that's how this two platform that I would recommend if you want to learn how to do your website on your own. Okay, let's go a bit more deeper to understand this whole concept of having a website, domain name. What did she say just now? Hosting, domain name? Oh my God. Okay, some of you probably might find me clueless. I understand. Okay, please put in your questions there so Kogi can actually compile and then later she'll be able to, uh, we don't miss your questions, okay? So website is means it's your house. You see, when you got a house, right? You need somebody to build a house and then you probably need an ID guy to come and see where you want to put what, where your living room going to be, your bedroom going to be and all that. So in order for you to build a house, to make it changi, you literally need to have a contractor, you need to have an ID person, you need to have ideas. This is where your web programmer and your web designer comes in. Programmer is an architect, okay? And uh, when that has already been settled, you need the land to build your house. The land, that means where you want your, your house to be. See, there's two types of housing land here. If you live in a condo, you literally live in a sharing land. If you live in individual house, then it's an individual land, right? So what is the difference? If you are into sharing server, that's where we hold our website, your charges are lesser and then the bandwidth are also not so big. So very basic website sharing, uh, uh, hosting is okay, no problem. But if you have a very heavy website and you know, have a lot of people coming and viewing, you have heavy videos that you listed there and you want like you're running an e-portal or you're running an e-learning system where you need videos, a lot of data need to be captured, then you go for standalone server. So the difference between hosting in a survey is how big your bandwidth, how big the usage of your website are, and how fast you want your website to load also take into consideration. After all that time, so now I have a house. I already decided, okay, la, I can never land. Fine, I'll get one. How about your name, address? Very important, right? If you don't have an address, can anyone find you anywhere? No, that's what domain is. You need to go and find a domain name from online, purchase it. So this is what we did, okay? In Mom's Village, Asia, 
we wanted to build a website. So the first year on, on business, 2018, I think, we decided this is the name we're going to have, Mom's Village Asia. I purchased a domain there. You know when I built my website or not? My real website was up only last year. Why? Okay. Who's that? I can hear the sound. Please mute yourself. Thank you. So yeah. Why? Why did it take so long? And I've been renewing my domain, okay? Because I don't want people to take away the domain. And why is because Mom's Village went through a lot, a lot of changes in these two years as well. So until now, where we became very clear what we want, then only we actually build the website. Okay? So your domain name is very important. So after that, the street that you stay, you decide whether you want to stay in the busy street or you want to stay in the street that's like, okay, okay, la, huh? no one, right? Of course, if you are staying in the house, you don't want your main road to be very busy. La. But when it comes to business, we want the road to be busy. So here, another question you ask whether you want your shop to be in Mead Valley or you want your shop to be in Sunway Pyramid or you want the shop to be in uh, the mega, the mega um, outlet somewhere in Kajang, uh, something like that. Okay, so that's what it means. So if you don't have organic in, uh, or leads coming up or you don't have any organic uh, visitors into your website, that's where we need to pay and bring people to our website. <coughs> okay, any questions that you want to ask me for this? Website, web posting, is it clear? Say, give me a one if you think this is clear because now I want all of you to go into this website called godaddy.com. Uh, that's and no question. Uh, after the yeah. okay, hold on. Okay, so now I want you all to go to Google, go to godaddy.com and check and see your domain available or not. Okay, let's go and check it out. So who who whose domain is still available? Okay, let's go to, there's actually two websites that you can go and check. One is godaddy.com. The other one is namecheap.com. You can go into these two websites and see whether you are available or not. Okay, so any of you has checked? Let's go to godaddy.com. Oh, anybody wants to give me your, ha, huh, Rekha, yours is available. Then I suggest you tell Krishna to buy the domain and keep for you, okay? Oh, you can even buy it. Why you need to ask Krishna? Khan? Okay. <coughs> yeah. So now let's say um, Kayut. Okay. I'm going to search for Kayut. So Kayut.com. Were you? Did you put Kayut? What did you put just now? Ha, ah, Arti. That's a beautiful question, Arti. Just hold on to that question. I'm going to answer that right after this. Okay, Kayut, you, you chose .com or .info? What did you choose? Somehow Kayut.com shows me it's not, uh, they say these brokers, they actually buy the domain, then they tell you you want me, you go and buy from them. They had that? No, la, that's their business model. La. K A H wasn't it a wrong spelling? Your spelling is K A H, is it? Ah, see, I they okay. All right. So yes, yeah, so you need to say for an example, if files are not available, then you need to find another alternative. So the best suggestion is to use .com. And if you want to use .com .my, you can. But in order for you to register for .com .my, you need to verify a lot of company documents because they need to have a verification that your business are in Malaysia before they allow you to have the domain .com .my. Normally, .com cukup lah. It's enough for us to actually rank on the first page of Google if you do your SEO properly. Okay. Arati's question I would like to answer before I move on. Arati, under your own name, can we build a website? Okay, 
The reason we're building a website is very important. If you notice, every speaker also spoke about that, your objective and your goal. Why do you want to have this website? If you think you just want to have this website for your personal branding and you want to just keep it with you and you just want to write a blog, then yes, by all means, you can have it. But when it comes to business decision, if it's your own name, let's say you rank the website, SEO is very good, traffic is flowing, and affiliate people come and tell you, you know, your website, your website got very good traffic coming in, you know, can you help me to promote my business? So you're doing all this and your website is already creating money for you. Okay, let's say someone wants to come and buy your website. The branding is your name, you know, so it's not a, you won't get a very good value for your website. So that's the reason why we normally suggest when you're building a website, try not to use your name. Try to use a name that's commonly been found online as well. So that is easy. If in case five or 10 years down the road, you decided to sell that website because you know how to do SEO ready math, right? You know? So you decided to sell that and then you want to rebuild again, it's very easy. Okay, but again, it depends 100% about your own objective. Okay. Okay, only Reka says, the rest of you, I know uh, Shivalila said it's available. Yeah, when it's available and you have an intention of uh, creating a website, buy and keep the domain, okay? All right, so next is the one that I mentioned just now, the two uh, softwares that we were talking about just now is content management system, where we can build our website using WordPress as well as Wix. And this is a percentage of, which is the biggest people. So majority of the time people go for WordPress website. Because even though it's a bit technical, you can actually do a lot of things. Wix is automated website. So it's a robot helps you to build one. It looks very pretty, very beautiful, but it does the job lies. Just that what you want to create, okay? So all of you excited to create your own website or not? Uh, see, Jayapriya said, awesome, Jayapriya. She already bought a universal fashion domain. Cool, man. Okay, all right. Kogi, what was uh, that uh, Hemi's question? Okay, okay, I found it there. Um, I'm a reseller for an organic hair oil. Is it advisable to open a website? Hmm, Kogi, if you're just, so Kogi, Hemi, if you are going to just sell one product as a drop ship, then having a website might not be a best idea for you right now. But if you are intending to actually sell few brands of hair oil to make your website the authority for hair oil, then you can actually create a website. That means anybody wants any kind of air oil, they can come to you. Then yes, because for one product and then you want, and it's not even your product. So it's a bit like, much, um, it does not make real sense like that. Lah. Okay. <coughs> okay, so what do you need in order to create a website? Very simple. Like I said, you need a domain name. You need to have a web hosting. So web hosting is you can actually go to uh, exabytes or you can go online and see there's a lot of web hosting company that's available go and pick one that actually suitable for uh, your your whatever suitable for your own bandwidth or you can speak to website experts as well like hoagie or dmc also have uh, um, my website are hosted by dmc because i created that website for an assignment okay not mom's village mentorship dm website so yes, so you can actually check out all these people to see what is the pricing like and you can host it. So please go and do a survey because you want to get a very good customer service from this web hosting company if anything goes wrong. The last thing is you send them an email, your website is down, they don't reply you for one week. Oh, gone case. Okay, don't do that. Next will be content as picture, graphic, image and videos. Like those who have attended my class, you know can, how to use Canva. Those who have not, go and register www.canva.com. You'll be able to do very simple design and there's a lot of free graphics images as given. I'll also share with you some website where you can go and capture some nice images without any copywriting issue. Okay. Okay. Then after that is, of course, accessibility. That means your 
internet connection has to be super good when you're doing it because you don't want then it's hanging and then some especially sometime when you're doing the website right the internet connection is not there you already edit something before you save uh, then you have a bit of issue <coughs> okay and number five will be your logo since all of you have a business i believe you all have a logo who don't have logo here Uh, we have a lot of questions. Huh? I like, I like. Dina, you got something under you, your website. Okay. Parimala Maya Skaptin and IT.com. Dot my. Okay. Vani, what is the difference between premium and great alternative? And I saw the premium price is higher. Like just now when you saw Kayu.com is premium price, right? A broker has bought it. That's what you're asking, right, Vani? For Malaysian market and you have minimum budget, I would recommend Easy Store. Yeah, Easy Store is, the, is something that you can also try. Support is very important. Functionality is limited, not up to the par with Shopee, but it's good for the beginner. You're talking about Easy Store, surely? Yes. Jayapriya, you don't have a logo. Jayapriya, please go and create a logo. Arati, don't have a logo. Okay, is that me, Arati? You sit for that? Okay. So. Guys, please go and create your logo. You need to have an identification. That is your first branding. Even if you have a Facebook store, you want to create your branding, your profile picture on your page must be a logo. Okay? Now, the next one is, of course, the objective and goal for the website. See, you got somebody to build a website for you, or you are building the website yourself, or you're getting a sister or brother to build a website for you. Then information has to come from you you need to give them all the content that you want to be on the website so that you need to exactly know why you need to create your website what is your objective what is your goal and what this website is going to bring for you <coughs> okay all right let's move this is few um, website that you need to take into consideration where i will share the slide with you all later so you can actually have all these names. In order for you to do a no, domain name search, nametrip.com, godaddy.com, or exabytes.my is somewhere where you can go and purchase your website. And they also give you uh, hosting pricing. So please go and see which suitable for you. Buy one and keep. Um, yeah, that will help you when you're ready to build your website. I, so Isa is saying, I bought my domain last year mybubbleskin.com still in progress will be launching school ha huh. so she's also using bluehost and wordpress see you can go for the most simplest one and come up with something okay i can create a wordpress website within a week but of course making it seo will take some time but just putting everything in place properly will take about a week weeks can be done in two days okay okay so now how do you go and register for the cms well, how do you go and register for any say WordPress? You go to www.wordpress.com. And then for Wix, you go to Wix.com. And then you can register both of it using any of your Gmail account. Okay, now, tricky question. If you are building website for your company, is it advisable to use your personal Gmail and create the website? Or you think it's good to have another Gmail account just for your website? What do you think? Yes, another email. Register for another email and then you go and put in whatever so that you don't really confuse your personal with that. And also, not only that, if there's any complication or technicality, your personal account is not being affected. And when you want to build a website, you want to ensure that you, you actually capture the lead from there. So if you have a specific email for that, it will make your life very easy. You can even do email marketing after that okay all right so let's look into that's website we are not going to go very detailed about website guys like i said you're not going to build a website today or i'm not having a real website class but this is a, a, a introduction to website about why you should have website and if you decide that you want to have website what do you need what do you look up for and how do you get your domain 
<laughs> Auntie, yes, soon. Coming soon, Auntie, website class. Next will be basic of SEO, which you need to know. Like just now when I said, you go to Google, you put in your name. It's your first page, your name appearing, then it's good. But again, now go to Google and put in your industry or your product. See, is your any platform or anything appearing on the first page? So normally, when it comes to Google uh, page, the first one, right, you can have maximum of seven paid ads. And 70% of the traffic will be at the top three and probably only 20% on position 10. I'll show you in a while. So now let me ask you all this question. Lah. Okay, I know you all also go anything want to know, you go to Mr. Google, okay? So now my question here is, when you go to Google, when you type something, how many of you go to the second page, third page, fourth page, fifth page, sixth page and do survey before you decide? Or are you like me? Just go to first page and see what is it and done. Yeah, Rika, only first page. Can I also do that? Because we don't have time, isn't it? Uh, Dina said, depending on what she's looking for, most of us go to first page. If you don't find anything on the first page, then we go to second page. If you don't see anything interesting, then you go to third page. If you already find what you want on the first page, then you are not going to go to the next third and fourth. Most of us do that. Okay? 70%. Okay? So the one who says go more, then you are fall into the 30%. All right? So, and if you are ranked in page one to three, then you're probably, you will not be getting any clicks or traffic, which is the truth. Anyone that's been at page four, five, six, seven, eight, but uh, maybe if you tell me God la, I go up to their one click, okay la, bole la, give it to you la, but most of the time no la, okay? All right, and then, and then in order, what is SEO? SEO is search engine optimization, where you put in keyword and you write an article, you optimize it on your platform so that you are searchable on first page of Google. How long will this take? Sometimes it takes three months, sometimes it can take six months, sometimes it can even take a few months. Depending on how easy your keyword is for you to rank. Next will be the way to be on a page one is to kick out your competitor, which is true. Lah. If you go now today uh, to uh, Google and you put that baby food breakup, then you see who is the number one in baby food. If you see that person has done a, a ranking SEO for baby food and they are number one, then your goal will be kicking that person out. So you will be there. Lah. But then there's a lot of things you need to do. You need to do keyword research. You need to do competitive analysis. You need to come out with articles. Then only you'll be able to kick them out. Okay? So yes, and it takes experience. Okay? I remember my first class, I was sitting there wondering, SEO, interesting. Why do I need to learn this? Then I realized how important that is. Okay? Then I stopped asking questions. So then will be, Google today loves authority site as well. So you need to make your website authority. Later, I will also show you how well you do you check on an authority score. That will happen on our bootcamp that we're going to have. So when you build a website on the bootcamp, and then we will also tell you how to look at your competitor. How do you spy so that you can beat them? Okay. And you need to be ready to write. Whoever says here, uh, Auntie Amajit, I know no problem. Rekha is also okay. Most of you here are okay, lah, not bad. But for those who think that I cannot write, then you need to change that mindset and you need to learn writing. Okay, so let me just go through very fast on-page SEO as well as off-page SEO. On-page SEO meaning things that we do or settings that we do on the website so you will be ranked on Google first page, like keyword selection. Meta, all this a bit sounds like a bit alienish to you all, but you all, it's good to know. Meta description, header tags, title tags. When we are building website, we will actually go into this detail and tell you how to do the proper setup. Okay, so once that's done, the next will be off-page SEO. Off-page SEO is things that you do outside of the website and you bring in traffic to your website. Things like from social network, blogging, forum, something that's been happening <coughs> outside your website, but people are coming because of this activity. Okay, so there's two way of you bring doing this SEO, which we will also cover when it comes to our Homepreneur Bootcamp. So that's what two important stuff that you need to know when it comes to SEO, okay?